right, guys. I'm dragging her to the fish market. <laughs> Okay guys, the market was really, really great. Tommy gave it a, what was it? A 9.3. 9.3. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tommy really wanted to see like big fish, but. I wanted to see the big tunas getting like filleted up. I've seen so many like videos of it on, on Instagram. Yeah. It's basically my whole feed. I can try to find that for us to go to. But I think it's like early in the morning. Yeah, like 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. But it was definitely touristy, but worth it. The food was really good. It was a really cool experience. And we got a really good matcha there that we both really enjoyed. We're both not big matcha drinkers, but it was really good. Now we're heading to a vintage store. Good morning. Ooh, grumpy. <laughs> oh, Tommy's throat hurts. Tommy's throat hurts. I love the beard though. Smile. Okay, I am not a hair roller girl, so I'm really curious what this is gonna give. Actually, okay, I feel like this worked, kind of. Okay, let me just brush out the curls on the side. Also, hello guys. I don't think I've sat down and talked to the vlog, this whole vlog yet, but I'm just getting ready to go to Tommy's match. Okay, I don't actually think this looks that bad. The thing that I'm noticing about the rollers is that it gives more volume, so that's, Good, although I probably should have left them up while I did my makeup. Okay, I've been having this Purial Dermatitis Rash since the US Open actually. And normally it goes away pretty quick. I have the medicine and the lotion for it and it's just not going away. So, and it's like spreading, so that's good. I don't know if anyone else struggles with Purial Dermatitis that's watching this, but it's really frustrating because they don't actually know fully what causes it. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Also, I'm just going in with my favorite drugstore foundation. Okay, I moved you guys over here. Anyways, guys, I have to say, Tokyo has been one of my favorite cities that I have ever visited, I think. It is just so incredibly lovely here and refreshing and it's different. I'm honestly so glad that I visited Tokyo for the first time as an adult because I feel like I just appreciate certain things that a younger person might not appreciate. And I feel like those of you who've been to Tokyo would probably know what I'm talking about. It's just clean and the people are lovely and it's so incredibly clean. That's been probably the most shocking part of Tokyo is how clean and lovely the city is. What I don't understand is that how it's so clean but I can never find a trash can anywhere. Like I feel like there's a trash can on every street in New York but it's still disgusting. So 
they've just got it figured out here. People are so polite. The children are so polite and kind and respectful. It's just been a really amazing experience. I also just love Japanese cuisine and Asian food in general. The shopping was obviously absolutely insane. So overall, Japan is getting an 11 out of 10 from me. I just am obsessed completely. I've also been feeling like extra kind of grateful for um, the opportunities that I get to travel through being on the tennis tour with Tommy. And although it is a ton of traveling and they don't have an off season and there's like a million things that you can complain about, you know, their schedule and the amount of time you have to be on the road. And you guys obviously know that I'm a home person and me just loving being home and enjoying home content. It is so cool the opportunities I've gotten to travel and see places even differently being here for tennis. I didn't add for YSL and this bronzer like a few months ago, All Hours Hyper Bronzer. This isn't a very warm, dark shade. And I have to say, I use it every time I do my makeup and I absolutely love the color. It's a very unique, very deep, warm color. I honestly kind of use it as blush a little bit. But anyways, while I talked about and I'm going to be doing less tennis-oriented content, I'm still really excited and I'm looking forward to highlighting some really cool places around the world. Because I think even traveling, uh, for tennis in general is just like a little bit of a different experience that I am grateful for. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I've loved all the feedback that I've been getting through like, I obviously haven't been uploading like super regularly since my move and just like there's been so much going on in my life. You guys have been so sweet and positive and supportive of everything and I just really, appreciate it i'm not gonna lie although uploading on youtube once a week is definitely the most work out of like all my social media content um creating i've actually sort of missed the consistency and the sort of like planning that has to go into that i've really i really enjoy that work um and just that consistency i'm gonna figure out how much I want to post on YouTube. I do again miss posting once a week, so maybe I might go back to that. I used to be so obsessed with this Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara, and I've started using it again, and I love it. It kind of just does everything. It's not clumpy, but it makes your eyelashes super long. It's super dark. Just using it anywhere, caffeine. I got gifted these Colleen Roth's child lip things. Hydra Shine Lipstick Balm. Ooh. That's really nice. Okay guys, I'm about to run to the match. I just need to get dressed. I'm running a little bit behind, so. Okay, this is my outfit. I still have to get my credentials, so. We gotta go. But I'm very excited for Tommy's match. It's a beautiful day. Apparently the courts are outside. I thought this was an indoor tournament, so I'm really excited to see the site and show you guys around. What is that? It's like ice cream, but like you warm it up in your hands like this, and then like after two minutes, you and it's like. Is it like soft serve? Yeah. Okay, I am really excited about 
this haul. Okay, I'm gonna start with guys. <laughs> I also have a bunch of ketchup in my pocket. I took a lot. Tommy told me not to get this. This morning I had a really productive morning. I had a few calls, so that was good. And then I actually went and walked around, but I didn't really do much, so, so it wasn't really worthy of filming. So here we are. Okay, I didn't get any of the hot dog part yet. That is really, really good. And I honestly expected it to be really, really good. Okay, the corn dog was like a eight out of 10. I have not ate today besides a little bit of breakfast, so I'm really hungry. Mmm. That is really good. I'm wondering if food is less processed here. These taste too good to not be, you know, a little processed, but these chicken nuggets are really, really good. Which doesn't surprise me because I feel like the fried chicken here is so good, so. Ooh. Honestly, this is so cute. Wow. I'm actually so shocked by this. It tastes like whipped cream. Like it's so creamy and sugary, it doesn't taste like regular ice cream. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna finish this in a second, but I wanna try the other things that I got. Okay, next. These almost look like, what's the dessert? Shoot, I'm not remembering, but there's an American dessert that are like little ice cream balls covered in chocolate. Oh, this is different than I thought. Okay, really cute. Comes with this little thing. I'm wondering if you're supposed to Wow, that is really good. And then I just got this Haagen-Dazs strawberry. That's one of my favorite ice cream flavors back in the States. I have the Haagen-Dazs strawberry a lot back home, but I'm curious if it's um, better here. Everything that I've had here flavor-wise has been stronger. Like the high chew to me has more flavor. Everything, everything has more flavor. Even the vanilla ice cream tastes more vanilla-y, so I'm really curious if this is gonna taste different. Honestly, haagen is my favorite because it always has really strong flavor. I honestly feel like it's creamier. If you have not tried the haagen strawberry ice cream, oh, please do. Okay, next, just trying this green tea. I'm sure this is just very simple. Yum. Okay, now I'm trying these high chew minis Tommy actually got these these are right up his alley and then lastly this mochi this mochi came with this little pink tong really good and really simple I think that this was my favorite but I don't know why it's not like it's not melting which is interesting like it's not melting or losing its shape. Anyways, I'm going to probably do a little bit on the computer. I'm gonna edit some of this vlog and then I think Tommy and I are gonna go to an early dinner. We've been going to bed so early here, which has been so nice. I've been sleeping very well, which makes me happy. And then Tommy has his match tomorrow. So and I think we're gonna go to a pizza place tonight, which I'm excited about because Tommy has been ranting about this pizza place since last year when I did not come to Tokyo. So I'm excited to finally try this pizza. He says it's the best pizza he's ever had. So I'm excited to try it.
Okay guys, about to run out for Tommy's second match. I didn't vlog Tommy getting me this bag, but he got me this bag this week for our anniversary. It's, I absolutely love it. And I feel like I'm wearing it with every outfit, although it doesn't work with every outfit. another Tommy takeover. We're back. Um, somehow I have some energy left after a long match today. So we're gonna go shopping and I'm taking you with me. I'm starting the vlog, I'm starting the vlog. <laughs> All right, guys, I did a terrible job yesterday. We're going to get scalp massages in Tokyo. So we're going to get scalp massages. I have a flight at 5.15 and her flight. I'm going to Shanghai and then she's going to LA. LAX. Her flight is at 6.40. Um, it's on Malaysian Airlines, if you guys want. <laughs> a lot of the spas are very famous in Japan for their head massages and they also do um, like an evaluation of your scalp. See ya. My scalp doesn't look good. <laughs> Her scalp looks great, but it, overall it was a great experience. It was so, 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 so nice. I love Japan. Uh, and then we got some mood on, and now we're back at the hotel. I and, have to pack and go. Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to leave here in like 20 minutes, and then she's leaving another like 30 minutes after that. Babe, this is basically your vlog. Yeah, I'm taking over. Bye! Ooh, we got broken. Bye.